Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be discussing my first impression of Buchigiri. Um, apparently it's also known as Shine On Bakumatsu Bad Boys or something. But anyway, it's about this uh, group of criminals in the era when samurai ruled Japan. Uh, and they're all about to be executed. But this guy saves them, or well, abducts them before they get killed, and says, join the Shinshengumi or die. And so all except for like one of the people who the guy uh, kidnapped or whatever joins. And so this Shinshengumi group is uh, created again, because uh, apparently there was already a group but it was wiped out by this like mysterious organization and with only like one person left he uh collected these dangerous criminals who were very skilled at various things and made them into new ones right and so it's it's kind of a story to find this criminal organization and destroy them mm. right and it has a variety of characters there's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight main characters that we got here. Um, and all but one of them is really cool and I enjoy them. The other, the, 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 the last one, I do not like at all. He really just rubs me the wrong way. So you've got uh, this guy named Sakuya, who is a former assassin. He's really cool and like level-headed and very skilled at dispatching and killing people. You have this uh, girl named Akira, and we don't really know much about her yet, except that she's a girl who's trying to like disguise herself as a man for some reason. Uh, she's also very skilled with the sword. Then we have the guy I do not like, whose name is Ichiban Boshi, or something like that. He's the guy here who has like the, the red hair that you can see in this this uh picture but he is so obnoxious and annoying and the whole show would be a hundred times better without him uh, basically his story is that his family was killed by these guys wearing masks who are part of this like criminal organization uh, his mother pushed him off a cliff so he could survive and since then, he's just been like a, a roaming troublemaker until he was about to be executed for, I, I don't even know. He like saved this like, couple from getting killed by these samurai guys, and then he was going to be executed, which makes no sense, right? Like, these, these like samurai losers were going to kill these two civilians. He's like, hey, stop that. Then the police come, arrest him, and are about to execute him. And it's like... What? So either the cops were in on the whole, like, people being bad with the masks, or it's just really the only way that they could figure out how to put him in the criminal block. Uh, but he's like one of those, I'll save everyone, I'm a hero kind of nonsense people, things like that. Uh, very annoying. I hate him. Uh, if the show did not have him, it would be better. And that is my uh, thoughts on the matter. Next up, we have uh, Bo. He's, the, he's, he's a big old fat guy who loves food. He carries around a, like, paintbrush spear. One of it, end of it is, like, a spear. The other end is a paintbrush. And he's very good at, like, calligraphy and stuff, apparently. Uh, very cheerful and happy. Then we have the, the old man of the group, known as uh, Gataro. He likes guns. Yep. He, he likes guns and he uses guns. He's pretty cool. Then we have uh, Shugen, who is a uh, former doctor. And his deal is that he liked to, uh, I think it was said that he kidnapped and abducted people in order to like do tests and experiments on them and dissect them and figure out more about medicine and all that. So he's cool. And then you got um, Suzuran, who is a former like monk or like a corrupt monk or something, and he can't really fight at all from what we've seen so far. He like very clumsily wields a blade and stuff like that. He's kind of like a uh, 
he kind of seems like a smooth talker to me, the way he's like depicted and stuff like that, you know? And uh, the last person is the, the main like guy who, first of all, got them all together and established the group. His name is Isuke uh, Toto or Tudo or something like that. Anyway, he's uh, got this really cool like wooden arm that has just like two tongs on it. And he's got this nice scar over his uh, left eye, which is also really cool. Honestly, uh, I like him a lot, his design and stuff like that. Uh, although my favorite of all the characters, I gotta say it's probably Sakuya, the, the assassin guy. My least favorite, of course, the Ichiban Bushi guy, because he's just obnoxious and like does not listen to orders. And for some reason, apparently he's the commander of the group, despite the other guy who like got them together being the senior... I don't know. It's it's weird because they like he the, the guy who got them together gave them swords, and the sword that belonged to the original um, Shinshengumi guy that they take over their name of uh, the sword that they were given, and so that's how it goes. So they like change their names to whatever the hell the person who originally owned the sword was for some reason. I don't know. It's it's really weird, but. Yeah, it's not that bad. Uh, like I said, it would be a hundred times, no, a thousand times better if Ichiban Boshi was not in it. Uh, if they would just, like, completely remove him, it would be okay. If they filled him in with someone else, it would be great. Uh, I just do not like him at all. He is the one thing that's ruining the entire show for me. That and... They do that thing that I really hate, where the whole show has this filter over it. You know what I mean when I say filter? It's like they took the show and then took it into like Photoshop or something, and they applied a, a filter over it to make it look like it was more like a, of an olden timey kind of show, like right, like it, it took past, took place in the past, you know. Like, uh, it's like, a, it's like they put cellophane wrap or like, uh, something like that across the picture or like across my screen. It's just like really kind of like blurry. I think I could, I would say, I don't know. It's, it's a mess. I don't like when they do that. Uh, and it, it's very, very jarring when the camera moves like across like a landscape. Cause you see like the background moving, but the. Uh, film or the filter that's over it doesn't move. It stays there. So you can literally just like watch like one little like little speck on the filter and see it just move over the background very, very annoyingly. And I hate it. Yeah. Now, aside from the weird filter and aside from Ijiban Boshi, I like the show. I gotta say I like the show. I, uh, I really like, you know, samurai-esque kind of things, uh, like ninja and assassin stuff as well. Uh, and it's not just them being like, oh, we're samurai. No, they like, like I said, the one guy's an assassin. He uses, like, throwing knives and stuff. The one guy uses a gun. The one guy has a, uh, a paintbrush thing. So kind of a, a neat little gimmicky thing that's not necessarily just samurai doing samurai stuff. But it seems interesting. I'm willing to continue watching it and hopefully... Ichiban Boshi quits being a little loser. Uh, that's all I gotta say. All right, well, that's all for me on this one, everyone. Thank you all for listening. And let me know what you think about this one yourselves. Until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.